standing outside the Tower of London. It was here 500 years ago that St John Fisher was beheaded for his faith. His lifeless, headless body was thrown in a temporary grave across the road. Exactly two weeks later, his body was brought back and laid next to the tower's newest martyr, the former Lord Chancellor Sir Thomas More. These two men were so different in so many ways. Fisher was a northerner, More was a southerner. Fisher went to Cambridge, More went to Oxford. Fisher was a cleric, cardinal, More a civil servant. One was single and celibate, the other married and had children. Fisher represents the sacred and more the secular, church and civil society together. So they share one feast day, just as they shared one grave and now share one martyr's crown. I love these saints and I think they're an encouragement and I pray in our own day for bold and courageous leaders who are willing to stand up and speak the truth and mercy in the public square. Bishops and lay people together who like Fisher and Moore aren't afraid to defend and die for the institution of marriage. And their deaths show that there is a tension in between being a citizen of earth and a citizen of heaven. But I think just like St Thomas More said before he was beheaded, it's possible, I think, to be the king's good servant, but God's first. St John Fisher and St Thomas More, pray for us.